Okay, today I'm going to be doing the first ever gold Japanese foil ball challenge. So I'm going to be turning this pile of golden foil into a Japanese polished foil ball. And then after, if it works out, I'm going to be putting it in my vacuum chamber to see what happens. Because in my previous video, I got a lot of requests to put the foil ball in the vacuum chamber because I calculated that it had some air bubbles in it. And I'll also be showing you what happens when you drop this very thin gold leaf metal in the vacuum chamber. Here's what happens in air. But what happens when we suck all the air out of the vacuum? Will it just drop like a rock? Let's check it out after I make my ball. And finally, I'm gonna be showing you an awesome thing I discovered while doing these experiments. What happens when you lit the air in in gold foil in the vacuum chamber? It's quite amazing. One of the coolest things I've done in my vacuum chamber. Okay, first let's make my gold foil ball. Okay, now we'll start pounding it into a sphere. Really looking like a solid ball now, but let's put on our gold leaf. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look how shiny that is. Look how awesome this is. Now this is a mirror polished Japanese gold foil ball. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, so first let's see what happens when I put my gold foil ball in the vacuum chamber. And then we'll test dropping the gold leaf by itself. Okay, Japanese gold foil ball in the vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, we're down to half an atmosphere. Okay, we're down to full vacuum now. <laughs> and it doesn't look like anything has happened to it. And really that should come at no surprise to you. So even though there may be small little pockets of air in there, the maximum pressure that they can give off is around 14 pounds per square inch. And that's not enough at all to bend the metal to release the pressure. And so basically, even though there may be tiny little air bubbles in there, they're under so much force from the foil being compressed on it that it's not able to expand at all, even though it's in a vacuum. But now let's look at something even cooler. Let's drop a little piece of that very thin foil and see what it looks like. This is a rendition of the experiment that they did on the moon when they dropped a feather and a hammer and they hit the ground at the same time. Okay, we are at full vacuum, as low as my vacuum chamber can get. So let's go ahead and drop the foil and see if it just drops like a rock or it still floats down. Let's check it out. Okay, I have my gold foil at top here connected with a magnet. Okay, now let's see what happens when we lit the air in. This is very thin foil, so I don't know if it'll hold together well. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Just became gold dust. That is awesome. That was way cool. Okay, I need to try that again with more foil. Okay, let's get down to full vacuum. Three, two, one. Okay, we're now at a complete vacuum in there, as low as I can get with my pump.
Okay, that is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my vacuum chamber. <laughs> that is so cool. Made it turn into golden snow. <laughs> that was so cool. So the gold foil that I worked with in this video was actually not real gold, but it was actually an alloy of copper and zinc. But when you combine those in just the right way, it shines almost like it's pure gold. So before I go, just a quick update on my subscription box. So we're almost ready with the first box. In two to three weeks, we're gonna be launching. And if you haven't heard yet, I've teamed up with the creators of the Curiosity Box from Vsauce's channel. And we've been working hard together to come up with an Action Lab subscription box. And basically what it's going to be is it's going to be a quarterly box that you receive and it's going to have experiments similar to what I do on my channel. Only you can do them for yourself. So the very first box that's going to be coming out is the vacuum box. So because my subscribers love that vacuum chamber, I decided to give you your own vacuum chamber. So the box comes with a mini vacuum chamber that you assemble, and then you get to run your own experiments in there. It's really cool. So the very first box will be available in limited quantity. So if you want to be the first to get the Action Lab subscription box, click the link in my description, and you can give me your email address, and we'll email you when the first box is available. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you did like it. If you're not a subscriber yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and you can hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. I'm usually more active right when I post a video, so you can leave me any comments or questions or suggestions that you have and I'll try to get to them. And I'll see you next time.